everyone. So you are about to have your J means exam and this is the right time to have this math revision. So here I am to help you in that. So let's start. First of all, physical chemistry. So in this section, we have 10 units and from each unit, there would be one question. This section is considered as the most scoring section because the questions which are asked in this section, they are often direct formula based. No doubt, we have some difficult sections, some difficult chapters in it like chemical equilibrium, thermodynamics, but for those chapters, you can focus on specific topics like Lee Chatelier's principle for chemical equilibrium, how to calculate work in thermodynamics, because most probably questions would be asked from these sections only. Other important topics in this section, they are kinetic theory of gases, then we have Bohr's model of an atom, photoelectric effect, molar conductivity, density calculation in crystal lattices, uh, colligative properties in solutions, and last, first order kinetics. Now moving forward to inorganic chemistry, this one is the easiest section and highly scoring chapters in this section, they are chemical bonding, we have coordination compounds and p block elements. So make sure you would revise these chapters first. Now 50% of the questions in this section, they would be from these three chapters. So go brush up your concepts of hybridization calculation, molecular orbital theory, valence bond theory, CFT, optical isomers and trends and properties of p block elements. Coming to last section that is organic chemistry, here your task number one should be to revise some basic reactions like SN1, SN2, then we have elimination reactions, then task number two should be to go through all the name reactions and task number three to revise some bonus chapters. What I mean by bonus chapters? We have biomolecules, then polymerization and environmental chemistry. So in these chapters, we have to cram a lot of things. That's why students, they often neglect them. But you cannot do that because the questions which would be asked from these chapters, they would be direct questions from NCRT. And remember that nine marks, they can make a huge difference in your rank. Lastly, it's all about how much effective and attentive you are while giving your exam. So believe on yourself and try your best. Good luck.